Hello students. Today we are going to see the topic that is transport in plants. Now how water and dissolved nutrients from the roots get upwards towards the leaves and stem and how carbohydrates produced in the leaves is transported to the rest of the plants. These are mainly the two things which are transport in the plants. Okay. So how do plants transport carbohydrates? Movement of carbohydrates through vascular system is called as translocation and carbohydrates produced in the photosynthetic organs that is mainly leaves and often stored in the roots so carbohydrates produced in the leaves and it is stored in the roots now movement of carbohydrates is through the tissue that is phloem and phloem has mainly two types of cells first is the sieve cells which are the living cells stacked on the top of each other as you can see here this is the leaf which have the sieve tube members which is similar to this sieve leaves but found only in the angiosperms. Angiosperm means flowering plants. This is the member. Here you can find this cells. Okay, the sieve cells. These are the cells stacked on the top of each other like this. Like a coins. Now how do plants transport carbohydrates we were seeing? There is mass flow or pressure flow hypothesis. That means carbohydrates move from the source that is the site from where it is produced or stored to the sink that means from uh, sorry to the site where it is used. Now carbohydrates actively transported through phloem as I have told you earlier by the phloem tissues. High concentration of carbohydrates causes greater osmotic pressure in the phloem and water moves in the form of adjacent xylem by the osmosis. So here osmotic pressure is the main thing which is responsible for the transportation of carbohydrates. Now water influxes creates its a truggerness that is pressure inside the phloem and this pushing water and dissolving carbohydrates flows through the phloem and this phloem through phloem this carbohydrates reach. Now at sink that means at the site carbohydrates actively move removed from the phloem and reducing the osmotic pressure in the phloem. So First, the osmotic pressure is created and water moves from adjacent xylem by the osmosis. Then uh, through phloem, again osmotic pressure is reduced and the carbohydrates is actively transported to the site where it has to be used. Now water leaves this phloem and re-enters the xylem maintaining an osmotic pressure gradient between the sources and the sinks. So like this students, the water uh, carbohydrates is transported from here as you can see here carbohydrate is secreted or you can say found here it is stored this is a source so it can be utilized in the root or it can be utilized in the shoot here also transport of water in the sieve tubes as you can see here this is your phloem this is a mesophyll tissue and as Water moves here from the xylem, it, the carbohydrates enter into the phloem. So active transport of sucrose from leaves into tube cells occurs in the source. So students in this session we have seen the transport of carbohydrates. In further session we will have a more detailed look. Thank you.